design. Today's video is going to be an adorable little yellow chick that is standing up on the nail with the broken shell on either side of him. The shell is so easy to do. It is such a quick little technique that can be used in so many different applications. So if you wanna see how I made that shell really fast, really easy, watch for that and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. I am going to begin with an overlay of one of my absolute favorite colors. This is a glitter mix that's got blue and gold and lavender all mixed together. And I'm going to share with you some kind of sad news I just found. Double Dip, a brand of acrylic that I use, and i that's what the majority of my acrylic collection is, uh, has gone out of business. And I just didn't notice it because I didn't need any acrylic. And I was going to look at their website recently. I was like, oh, no they're gone. So you've heard me love a double dip in the past a bajillion times and I have had subscribers come to me and say how much they love them too. Unfortunately, they are no more. So I thought I would share that with you since I just found that out. But we've got our little chick. I sculpted the base of my chick on a nail form backing with yellow acrylic and now I'm going to, after that's been cured nice and crispy, I'm going to peel it off the nail form backing and then I'm going to add a little layer to the top of it so it's a little bit thicker and then hold the wire that's going to be for my first leg in until that begins to cure. It is tedious and that wire that I'm using is a little heavier than wire that I sometimes use because it does need to support the weight of the chick and hold it up. So don't use the really fine wire, use one that's a little bit stronger than that. And then after your wire is going to hold itself up, the acrylic is cured enough where it's not going to droop. Take more of your yellow acrylic and start building up the rest of the shape of this half of your chick. So you're not going to do anything to the other side because it is currently being held up by poster putty. So you can't get to it. Just really focus on one side. Get it as nice as you can. Make sure you've got that really round little chick body. I would also encourage you to sculpt in a little wing while you're at it. While you're here, you can just use the tip of your brush and kind of pull that wing out. After that side is done, you're going to flip this guy over and you're going to repeat the process for the other side, starting with another layer of acrylic to kind of thicken it up so the legs aren't too close together. Then setting the leg in and holding it in place until it is cured. I used the end of my tweezers as a spacer. Once it is cured where it's not going to move anywhere, which usually takes longer than I think it's going to, then you're going to round out that side. After both sides have been rounded out, wings are in place. Hold your chicken by the legs and you're going to smooth out the crease in the middle because there's probably going to be this little line where you can see the left and the right side. And you can tell that they were sculpted separately. So take a little more of your yellow acrylic and just finish all that off. I'm also going to take a brighter shade of yellow acrylic, which looks incredibly neon in the video. And I'm going to add a bit of shading to my chick. Cut off the legs so they're not too long. Hold it up to the nail. Check the length to see if it seems too long. I thought my legs were still just a little too long. Hold them in place again. Once you've got your two little leggies at just the length you want them to be so that he stands up on there, you're going to grab orange acrylic and you're going to sculpt feet and then cover the legs as well. So when you're sculpting the feet, you're also doing another job, which is attaching the wire to the nail. As you're doing this, you want to keep in mind that the wire is slippery. It is a, it's shiny. So because of that, the acrylic doesn't grip it quite as well. So as you're sculpting these little feet, you're going to need to make sure that you carry the, the foot acrylic, the orange acrylic up the leg for that acrylic to start to hold the wire in place. You're probably almost going to need to sculpt the wire all or sculpt the acrylic all the way up over the wire before it really starts to hold. And just like with the wire on the legs, when you were putting them into the bird originally, it's going to take longer than you think. So you're going to just have to hold that until you're really certain it's not going anywhere because it tends to just wiggle a little. Once you do let go, be very cautious, watch it and make sure that you're holding the nail level so that you're not tipping the bird like behind or for, see mine just tipped over. I'm like, oh, there he goes. He fell over. Hold him in place again, add more acrylic and proceed. Air on the side of caution. Learn from my mistakes, please add the wire or add the acrylic completely covering the legs so make sure that there is no silvery wire showing through at the end you want it to just look like like the orange and then after you have that done you have a bird completely covered with or bird legs completely covered add a little more of the yellow kind of layered over the top of the very top part of the leg right at the hip area and then you're going to take your orange acrylic and you're going to add the beak if your acrylic it stands up on its own pretty well and you're using a monomer that cures quickly you can just sculpt the beak coming straight out from the face since it's not going very far with acrylic paint add any details to your little chicky as you want i'm going to do some highlighting on my leg color i thought my legs were a bit too dark for the pastel brightness of my easter colors i'm going to take some white acrylic paint and add some highlights and make my chick look a little bit more feathery instead of just kind of like a, a blob look more fluffy than blob like you gotta add your chick's eyes. You can do as much detail 
as you want. But the great thing with a chick is because of the way that their feathers are, they really are just like a little fluff blob. So you don't have to do anything too extravagant as far as shaping goes overall, just because that is their shape. Their shape is kind of a little, a little fluff ball. So add the last details. When you're doing something like the chick's eyes, and this goes for the chick or any other details on a design that are the same, and you want them to be about the same spot, the same spot, height, shape, different levels, size, all of that, but you can't look at the one that you did to do the next one. Take note of, for instance, how far the eye is away from the beak, how far it is on the head. Is it right in the middle? Is it a little bit down, a little bit up? Just keep track of those details to help you place the second one. Now for the super easy way to make a broken eggshell, you're going to take an eyedropper. This is a used eyedropper from a skincare sample I got from Sephora. And you're going to spread some white builder gel on top of that, making sure that it has a nice uneven cracked like edge on it. Cure that if you need a second coat, if it looks uneven, do a second coat and then apply some matte gel top coat, cure it again. As you're curing the eggshell, make sure you're turning your eyedropper continually in your lamp, rotating it just around and around and around. It pops right off and that's it. If there's a little bit of scrap you wanna trim off, you can even use a manicure scissors to cut this. Repeat for a second half of your eggshell and that is it. It is so simple to make those little cracked eggshells. I showed this design to my mom and she goes, oh my goodness, that eggshell must have been so difficult and I just burst out laughing because I'm like, no, the chicken's legs were what was difficult. It was not the eggshell. You never know it's gonna be the hard part. Attach them to the nail with a bit of jewelry gel underneath some uh, glossy gel top coat. Just stick them down, cure it, and you're good to go. That part was definitely the quick, easy thing. This guy is so cute, so adorable. I absolutely adore them. I love holding little chicks in the springtime. They are so sweet. I hope you guys like this video as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well.